students welcome to nutpotter sasha today in this video we are going to see about water the life giving liquid water is present in abundance on earth is it enough to think about water for drinking bathing washing and cleaning we are we not mindful about preserving conserving and even wasting and polluting it let us see about this life giving liquid in detail water is essential for the existence of life on earth it covers Three fourth of the Earth's surface and constitutes seventy percentage of our body. About ninety seven percentage of water found on Earth is salt water found on oceans. Less than three percentage of water found on Earth is fresh water. We need fresh water to survive. But seventy percentage of the world's fresh water is frozen in ice caps and glaciers. Twenty nine percentage of the world's fresh water is locked deep inside the ground. So only zero point three percentage of world's fresh water is available for our use in the form of rivers, lakes, springs, etc. So this makes water a precious resource. Water is available through various sources. Some of the sources are rainwater, groundwater, surface water, ice caps and glacier, ocean water. Let us see these sources of water one by one in detail. First, we are going to see about rainwater. The main source of water is from rain. Do you know when rainfall occurs? Rainfall occurs when the water vapor present in the air condenses. Rainwater is considered as one of the purest form of water. But, however, while it falls down in the atmosphere, it gets mixed with the other dust particles and gets polluted. Next, we are going to see about groundwater. During rainfall, a part of rainwater percolates through soil and forms groundwater. As water passes through various layers of sand and rocks, it gets naturally filtered and is free from suspended impurities. Approximately 30% of the fresh water found on earth exists as groundwater. We can obtain groundwater by digging wells and through tube wells. Next, we are going to see about the surface water. The water present in the surface of the earth in the form of ocean, lake, river, streams, ponds, etc. forms the surface water. Do you know from where the rivers and lakes get water from? The rivers and lakes get water from rain and the snow melting in the mountains. Surface water accounts 80% of the water we use. The next source of water is ice caps and glaciers. About 70% of the world's fresh water is locked in glaciers and ice caps. For example, the Siachen Glacier is one of the glaciers in India. Next, we are going to see about ocean water. The river water is a source of water for the oceans. Although ocean makes 97% of the entire water in the world, it is not a viable source of potable water as it contains salt and other impurities. Sea water is considered as the most impure form of natural water. Water is very important to us. Now, we are going to see some important uses of water. Water is responsible for carrying out various body functions such as digestion, respiration and excretion. Water helps in eliminating waste from our body in the form of sweat and urine. It helps to regulate our body temperature. Water helps in absorbing and transporting nutrients to various parts of the plants. Water is essential for germination and photosynthesis. Plants and animals also regulate their body temperature through transpiration. Water is used to irrigate fields and to grow crops. Water in dams is used for generating electricity. Water is used to transport goods and peoples in ships. Water forms a natural habitat for several aquatic plants such as the lotus, hydrilla, etc. and for some of the animals such as dolphin, whales, fishes, etc. Water is also known as a universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other liquids. Water is used in making several things such as the soaps, medicines and fabrics. Water is used for recreation and sports such as swimming, river rafting and water skiing. Water is essential in many industries such as paper, fertilizers and chemicals. Water is used for bathing, washing and cleaning 
and in preparation of food that we eat. Water is also used as a fire extinguisher. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I'll meet you in the next video with the continuation of water. Until then, bye bye from Sasha.